and I will be back more often now. I will um, be doing a lot of readings here with my new cards that I have been working on, which is why I was gone for so long, and they're finished. This is my test deck. I've done a Kickstarter campaign, so if you want to buy a set of these cards, they're available. It's basically three decks in one. There's 36 cards of the regular Lenormand, which is my Ecole Picturesque, and then the second deck is the nuance another 36 cards that are um, numbered the same as Lenormand but they're different um, they're similar cards but they have a different kind of nuance to me and then I've separated out the animal spirit animals and the signs of the zodiac cards and use them separately after I get this reading going so what we're going to do is the heart of the soulmate reading where I'm going to have three cards for one of you and three cards for the other and then we'll have three cards to take a look at what's happening between the two of you energetically Oh my goodness, I got a woman and a man. <laughs> and blending, alchemy. This is amazing, that's powerful. Okay. Compass, garden, bellows, ignition. The road, a crossroads, decision, complications, feeling stuck, but magnet, longing and yearning. Okay. So, whoever this is over here, the energy over on this side is of the two of you in the process of you're like things are being broken down to make something new and so what i'm interested to also to see is that you're back to back kind of you're both faced a little way from each other you know i would have liked to see it like this but instead we're like this. So what's happening here is that there was this breaking down process. It might feel kind of brutal. Someone over here is really feeling it. They're feeling, you know, like they're getting pounded. <laughs> but the good news is that pounding that you're getting is actually to create something. It's a, it's a, um, it's a process that's going to make something amazing. And some, something is very powerful. It's alchemy. It's in the tarot deck. It would be like the, the um, temperance card where the balancing and the you know going back and forth and the blending is is, a, is happening something is being made from this so don't give up um, hope and you know whatever because it's going to turn out actually we're, we're in the process of something great being made on this side um, this person here is really in a process of discovery and there is a um, you know a, a coming to a knowledge and an understanding that they're on a life path and this is igniting something in them that gets makes them are making them want to get out into the public um, public eye I feel like this person could really be on in the process of of like you know some kind of big project that will um, bring an audience bring attention bring a crowd or whatever with you know whatever it is they're going it's a, it's a life path kind of thing um, seeking truth finding their way and coming to like a sense of focus and direction and it's really charging them up like they're they're really getting going here get things going there there is an um, is also the advice here is to to kindle things to make an effort to fan the flames to to get things going so if this is your side for for those of you who are watching and you feel like you've you know you've been on your life path you've been going in a direction and um you kind of you're getting a sense of what that is or maybe you're not quite there but you feel like it you should be then just um you know fan the flames inside of yourself like believe in yourself and you know if there's even some little steps to take on that path and that journey and get yourself out there because the garden is talking about public places a crowds audience meetings events culture community outdoors even if it even if it is in the public like you know getting out in public if it just means getting out of doors sometimes that change of of place like right now I'm kind of getting I'm not just kind of I'm very much getting cabin fever it's been cold and snowy and I've been stuck inside with this project and I'm really ready to go somewhere so sometimes just you know changing that place getting out in nature is is helpful too these are things that will help you in your life direction right now the catalyst that will get things going 
while um, you know this person is over here just getting pounded with whatever, whatever's going on in their life that's doing that pounding because that pounding is bringing the two of you together. I do feel like a lot of you guys are kind of like in a state of separation right now maybe or you're not necessarily seeing eye to eye on things and probably kind of the, the results because we have the yarns, you have the yarn in complications here and being a little stuck and in fact at a crossroads. I do feel that for a lot of you guys, you're like even wondering if this is the right thing. If, um, you know, should I be on the path with this person or not? And it does say you have multiple choices. We always do, pretty much always do. Sometimes I do have a card or two in here that can talk about really there's only one way forward. But right now you do have choices. Um, things are kind of, you know, pop problematic between the two of you right now. But there is also a really strong attraction. That um, magnet is about longing, desire, um, seduction and yearning. So if you, if you, this, I kind of feel like for most of you, this is you and you're feeling this, this frustration, you're feeling the tied up and like things aren't going anywhere. And should I make choices of going in another direction right now? But you feel that longing and yearning. I think that the, the thing to know is that over here, this person is really going through it and the p ultimate result is going to bring the two of you together. In fact, let's just pull some other cards right now to see where that's all headed. In fact, I'm going to do the animal oracle. So the spirit animals, um, they came to me as I was doing this deck. I want, I wasn't sure how many cards I would do and I kept having animals show up and finally I decided to just give them a deck of their own, pair them up with the signs of the zodiac and um, the signs of the zodiac. You can shuffle all these right into the entire deck, which I've been doing that as well with some of my readings for myself and it's been fun but I decided to have them separate right now. So let's see what do the animals say to this person right here. They're going through metamorphosis. They're like I was saying this mortar and pestle is a metamorphosis type of card as well but with the the butterfly it's even more drastic. One thing that happens with the butterfly is when the caterpillar goes into the cocoon it's not like the caterpillar's different body parts turn into different into new body parts of the of the butterfly. Scientists have actually discovered that they turn into a DNA soup, and then out of that DNA soup, um, the all those pieces are, you know, the DNA pieces are used to reconstruct or to rearrange to construct a completely new creature. So a butterfly is nothing at all like a caterpillar. It's unlike other kinds of creatures. There's some creatures that like a polywog that gradually grows the body parts and really becomes a frog. But with a butterfly, it's just completely like, like you wipe the slate clean. That's what this person is going through. They're going through complete change. So you're not going to recognize them as that old person they were before. And again, I'll just point out that that complete change has to do with the man and the woman, the bringing together the union. Let's take a look here for this side. The squirrel, um, interesting card here. You know, I think squirrels are great little creatures, but this card is kind of more of a little bit of a negative one. It's about being hyperactive, secretive, because squirrels hide things, um, scolding, accusations, miscommunication, or even giving lip service to something. So I'm wondering why that's coming up here. And, and I think for, for I don't, I don't, Probably not for most people, but I think for somebody out there, it's because there. This can you can really fan the flames in a negative and a bad way if there's um, you know some of this kind of behavior and activity going on. So just being careful of that. The other thing that it might be is that um, you're being kind of reminded or guided or shown that this is going on around you, and you should be be wary and careful of this. Let me pull another card to see. On a quest or migration. So the, that fits with what's going on here a little bit more for me. This compass and exploring and making a plan and getting, you know, making something happen and some kind of change. You're, um, you know, really on some kind of a big quest here. Not really sure why that came up except that maybe somebody out there needed to hear that. So that does, um, it kind of makes more sense of how it fits. Some advice here. One of the things about the geese is that um, they're cyclical. There's patterns going on there. Semper Fi, um, because they always can be counted on. So it's, I feel like you are really, um, you're on a quest and you can really have like this trust in that whole process. That these quests are even cyclical for you, I think. 
that you have kind of gone through some of these kinds of cycles in your life already. Perhaps the squirrel is saying that, you know, you're a little bit secretive about it and you've, um, you know, held that back from, you know, even from yourself, maybe, maybe you're being really pushed to get out there and do something and you're, um, you've been secretive about it and I kind of feel like you just need to move forward on it instead of holding it back. The, the garden is about getting out there. Let's see what's going on with the, the two of you here between the two of you, what would be some advice on how to deal with this? The lion comes up um, about authority, self-esteem, pride, um, and then just being heart-centered. Heart I feel like the what is fair and just kind of comes up because when you're in this situation, because I feel like whoever you are on, on either side of this, because of this being the energy between the two of you, you're, you're trying to make that decision of how to move forward. I feel like... Um, you know, it can be a warning against um, staying in a situation which is toxic and, um, you know, because there are some complications and things are just, you know, really bound up. Make sure that whatever decision you make is based on what's very unjust to yourself and be heart-centered in your own, you know, for your own self. Pay attention to what you need. You are your own authority. You don't need to... Um, allow and take, you know, take on whatever. It could be this is coming up for someone out there because you're experiencing this from this person over here. They're going through a major change. But sometimes when people are going through a change and they haven't, like, finished that process yet, there can be some ugliness. We had that with the yarn. And so that could be coming up for that reason. Let's see what planets, um, what is the planetary influencers here. So I also created 10 additional cards that are only available during the Kickstarter campaign, which are the eight planets and the um, sun and the moon. And if you actually pair them together with the signs of the zodiac, it creates a major arcana, interestingly enough. So I, I have um, the energies of these planets and the name that they correspond with in tarot, which is kind of neat because I think the... The themes of the major arcana really are always playing out in our life, and it's sometimes nice in a reading to just see. Okay, what's at play here? Mars is at play here. That power, that yang energy, that kind of even goes with the Leo. To me, Leo has a, a lot of yang energy as well. Um, there, that the But the tower, Mars, is about destruction, raw energy, desire, even aggression, Anger. So I'm kind of getting with this squirrel and the yarn. The yarn is the complications and problems and things. And so do you feel like a lot of you are trying to figure out which way to go right now because of that? And this which way to go is interesting too that we have the, you know, the road and the map or actually the, the partner cards in the two different decks. They're both number 22. And the road being that you have all these different choices and, and, and you got to, you need to make your choice. But the compass saying, here's your direction. Here's your map. Here's... Here's how to see the bigger picture. Like if you're standing right here, you don't even, all you know is like a left or right. You know, you've got a couple choices, but you don't really see where that's headed. And that's one, one thing by having the compass that you can have that direction. The geese have the direction. They're, they're the navigational, um, you know, navigation is one of the things that they're amazing about. They're such amazing creatures that way. So you have that ability to make the right choice and have the right direction. If there's a lot of um, you know trauma and drama going on around you right now, in spite of the fact that there's a lot of yearning and longing and desire between you and this person, you need to take care of yourself first and really um, you know watch out for that number one for you. Let's take a look at how about how long this whole cycle, you know the the geese are about cycles. Let's see how long this cycle is going to play out because this person here I'm feeling is headed toward their cocoon stage. Maybe they're not in there yet, but they're going to be. They are going to be changing, but are you going to want to stick around and wait for that to happen or not? And let's see about what we can, when we can expect to see some kind of change. And I'm even saying like, um, you know, this person, like where, where we could see the yarn and the complications and the Mars thing and the, maybe the scolding of the squirrel kind of thing. You know, when is that going to be likely to um, calm down? Oh, I meant my animals. Okay, the crow wanted to come up for some reason. Did the wrong cards. Here we go. So, um, the crow is the memory keeper. He's cunning, playful, mysterious trickster, but they know things. So, you know things. It's, I think it's coming up because it's saying, you know. You know, you know, deep inside of you, you know. And you can trust that. All right, timing-wise. Let's see what we got. Cancer. 
Cancer is within one to three months or from June, you know, during the time of actual cancer, June 21 to July 22. And, um, I'm sorry, June 22 to July 21 or 22, anyway, whichever. And then, or it could be one to three months or during the summer. So summertime in general. So it's any one of those times might be a time you can expect to see some kind of shift and change from the situation. So best of luck to you on all of that. And um, thanks so much for watching, liking my this video, um, sharing my channel with others. And check out my um, Kickstarter campaign if you'd like to have a set of these cards. And we will see you around soon. As a longtime tarot card user, I recently took the leap into learning Lenormand, another great intuitive divination tool for accessing the higher knowing of our subconscious mind. Developed in the 18th century by a famous seer, it has a unique voice and direct approach to everyday matters in life. With just 36 cards and simple imagery of things like the sun, the moon, a letter, or a tree, this system delivers thousands of specific meanings through corresponding two card pairs. That's a vast possibility of intuitive messages, but the task of becoming proficient in its use is truly daunting. To tackle the learning curve, I decided to create a Lenormand-based oracle of my own that would be visually appealing, but also contain easy to read keywords to convey the card's various possible meanings and contain additional cards that could represent the most common two card pairs. It would also include timing cards because who doesn't want to know when something is going to occur. The final result of my creative design process has yielded a trilogy. Three sets of 36 cards for a total of 108. The picturesque Lenormand Oracle is a beautiful classic oracle with warm inviting images evocative of old photo albums. The Nuance Lenormand Oracle contains additional cards that were carefully chosen to represent the meanings of the most common two card pairs from the Lenormand. The Zodiac and Spirit Animal Oracle contains 12 cards to represent each sign of the Zodiac and to address timing, but also to show up in a breeding as a particular person, similar to the tarot court cards. A number of animals showed up with powerful things to say. Their voices add nuance and reveal secrets of spirit and remind us of our connection to Source. I'm also offering a collector's bonus exclusive to this campaign. It is 10 additional cards that are the planets, including the sun and the moon, and when paired with the 12 signs of the zodiac, they actually form the major arcana from the tarot. This Kickstarter will fund the first run edition of the Nuance Oracle Trio, and subsequent sales will finance the completion of Intuit, an intuitive divination app I've developed based on the tarot and the Norman. The rewards are as follows. I'm completely finished with the Intuit Nuance Oracle Trio card images. So as soon as the campaign is over, they will be sent immediately to the printers. Thank you so much for your support. I truly can't wait until they're printed, packaged, and shipped to you. And I'm confident that you'll enjoy using them as much as I have enjoyed creating them.